And we'll be back with a video of three different ways to get joggers on GTA Online. These will be the three easiest ways to get joggers on GTA. And what I mean by easiest, I'll be taking account if it's solo, how much money it costs, how long it takes, do you need a friend, and just general stuff like that. So for example, black and red joggers won't be here because it costs a lot of money, you require a lot of things like the MOC, and you also do need a friend, so I'm not going to really consider that to be easy. Please subscribe to the channel for more GTA glitches. We are so close to 85,000 subscribers. We're exactly 500 off at the time of recording this. So I really need your help. It takes literally two seconds to subscribe. And it does not affect you at all. Also, please leave a like while you're down there. I'll really appreciate it. And it also really helps So, Last thing, two hours ago, I posted 12 GTA glitches in one video over on my second channel. So if that interests you at all, please click the pin comment. Or there's also a tag up right. And you could go watch that video after this. I think a lot of you guys will like that. Also, subscribe to the second channel and this channel if you haven't already and let's get into the video right away so quick disclaimer I'm probably gonna put this on all my videos but for Rockstar take two or anyone watching this what I'm posting in this video and on every video that I'm gonna be posting on the channel does not go against anything on your copyright system found on your page this article right here I went through Rockstar support I've emailed you guys multiple times to multiple different emails I've never got a response it's been a few weeks now so I'm just gonna go I'm pretty sure what I'm posting is completely allowed if it isn't though please please do not give me a strike and email the email that is on screen right now and I will go into personally delete that video as soon as I can. If you guys give me a strike, my whole channel is going to be deleted for no reason. It doesn't go against your terms of service. Last thing is for educational reasons only. I don't condone doing glitches. You may get banned. Let's get into it. So we're going to start with the easiest, but arguably the least cool, what some people say. I think they're amazing, but you want to head to this exact location and it needs to be this closed store. When you want to go and stand out front, then all you want to do is put spawn location over to last location. Right after this, we're going to go fly up to hide options. We're going to go click jobs. And now we're going to make sure it's on custom. This will allow everything to show. And you'll notice you got this blue job that's going to go and appear in front of you. So this one is completely solo. It doesn't cost you any money. And it literally takes probably three minutes. So that's why it's good to be as probably the easiest job that you'll ever find. After this, you just want to go and register as a CEO. This is the only requirement. you got to be a CEO. It won't work if you're a VIP. What you want to do is go to CEO style and you want to go and find the Warlord outfit. You'll notice it kind of has like a camel shirt. It's this outfit right here. And you'll be wearing the tan joggers with boots. Of course, we'll be going and working around to get the invisible ankles. And you'll be able to edit any shoes, any clothes that you want with it. So what you want to do is solo and you want to go and walk into this blue job right here while you're wearing your outfit i forgot to mention this if you guys use any of these glitches please trade me back with a subscription i think that's an even trade once you get in you don't need to change any of the settings you just want to make sure you're alone if there's another person in it just go and restart so you're solo once you get in the only things you got to do is you want to go one to the right and one to the left so you're on custom bodysuit go one and switch to the bike then go ahead over to outfit go one to the right and just play around in here and then confirm continue it's going to take you to this screen you want to click circle or b and leave once you're leaving don't put your controller down or anything because as soon as we can we got to dash into the closed store that is right in front of us and we're going to go and access t-shirts you guys will see me do it in a few seconds you don't want to go and access like pants or outfits because it might not let you leave after so just follow exactly what i do and head to the nearest t-shirt rack which is i'll be showing you guys once we load in so in two, about two seconds we're going to load in and so get your controller ready right when you get to the spot right when it allows you to run you'll be wearing your original outfit so you just want to dash in head to this t-shirt rack right here spam right in the d-pad to access it and right now put your controller down and wait for it to you to get kicked off not kicked from a session just kicked off the rack this could take from 30 seconds this could take five seconds it, it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference it shouldn't take over a minute once you get kicked off the rack you'll be wearing the old og warlord outfit so from here, we just got to retire as a CEO, and now we can go and edit this outfit to our liking. This is the easiest GTA joggers glitch of all time, probably will ever be. It takes 30 seconds, all you're required is a CEO, which probably 95% of the people have right now. And you can edit to your liking. That's glitch number one down. Subscribe if you enjoyed it, and get into number two. The requirements for the second one are absolutely nothing. All we gotta do is be able to join Crooked Copy. You need one person to be in it with you. It doesn't need to be a friend. It could be a random, but no money spent, and that's why this one is easy. We can finally start. I really hate putting that disclaimer, but it has to be done, and nothing I could do about it. So for the first one, you wanna go to Rockstar Created Jobs. You wanna head down to Versus, and we're gonna go and start this mission Crooked Cop right here. It's using a lot of glitches, but for this one, we'll be using it to get the purple joggers. 
you might want to host this one because it allows you to put some certain settings on which will definitely definitely affect the glitch later on so to start what you want to do you want to go down and you want to make sure it's on themed so you want to head over to clothing it starts on classic make sure you switch it to themed not player owned and not classic that is the most important step you need to do in this whole glitch it's very easy to do pretty much all of these are very easy to do but the one that is near the end from here, just go and invite a random person. It could be a friend or it could be a random. I was just kicking the random so I could get a friend in it. Technically, it's not solo, but randoms do join this job because how many glitches are in it and they just like to play it for whatever reason. From here, you want to go and switch your uh, versus outfits over to the bugs. So it's called insects. And you'll notice your character is wearing the purple joggers. From here, you want to go and click ready to play. And you'll have this exact outfit on right here. You won't have the duffel bag, but you will have purple joggers with that bug ugly mask and whatever so go click ready up and wait for it to start your friend needs to ready up as well or the random they don't need to do anything in this glitch to help you out they just need to be in it for around three to four minutes so once we actually load into the job it's actually very simple from here guys so all you want to do is go and head down to style head over to illuminate clothing and you want to scroll this through about five to ten seconds then you want to go and head up to player mood. For this, you want to do it for around 30 seconds to a minute. So all I'm doing here is holding right on the D-pad or right on the left stick to just scroll and scroll through. You don't want to be touching any other buttons here. Just scroll through in one, like one direction. It could be left, it could be right. It does not matter. So I recommend doing it with the timing in the background. This will allow you to get kicked later on if you do not do this step. And if you do it for too short, you won't end up getting kicked and you won't end up getting the joggers. So again, 30 seconds should be fine, but the longer you do it, the better it is. So I'm just scrolling through, add a timer up. Then once the 30 second passes, you want to go and put your controller down, and you want to go and wait for it to you to get kicked. This takes around 3 to 4 minutes. If it's taking longer, you must have not scrolled through long enough. That's just basically the only issue that could be. If you guys want and you're not getting kicked, you could go and try opening Netflix on PS4 or YouTube on PS4 works as well. You'll get this message at the one minute mark. Again, this is in fast forward right now, but it is three to four minutes real time. Then you'll go and get an alert saying you got kicked and it's gonna go and take you back into GTA Online. So you just wanna go and continue after you see this message and it's gonna spawn you across the street from an animation. Once we go and accept this and it spawns us back in, all we gotta do is run across and there's a few more steps that we need to do just to secure that this outfit actually does save. If you guys are still watching, I know it's pretty early in the video, but you might as well leave a like. It's your first, the first joggers glitch is pretty much almost done, so you might as well, you know. So again, I spawn right down here, and all I'm gonna do is run down the street. I'm gonna go make a right and go into the ammunition, and all we wanna do is take off this insect mask. That is the most important step of this whole glitch. If you keep that on and switch sessions, you will lose this whole outfit. Just to show you guys, you do get the invisible ankles just like that right here. But again, the most important step before you save it is take off the bug mask. It will not save the outfit with it. And that's pretty much it. Let's get into the next one. So the next one's actually going to be orange joggers. Since it's extremely similar, I'll be going through it very, very quickly. So this time, once again, we're going to go and start the versus mission Crooked Cop, just like glitch number one. So go and head down and start that up. This time, you want to be on team number two. Last time, we were on team number one. You could also get black joggers from doing this. You just need to be player number three or four. Once again, make sure themed clothing is on. It does not matter if you're the host. It won't make a difference as long as themed clothing is on and you guys will be set. Once you load in, again, I'll be going through this one extremely quick because it's repetitive to the last one. But now this time, if you aren't the host, you got to go and tell your friend or the random to put it on insects clothing. So this random right now is just going through and he already knows the glitch. So we go and get these orange joggers. Last time you notice we're wearing purple, this time we're wearing orange. If you're player three on either teams, you will notice you're getting black joggers from it and you just want to do the exact same steps, and you'll be able to get black with invisible ankles. Don't worry, I'll be showing another way of getting black joggers later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. From here, once again, go down to illuminate clothing and scroll through that for five to 10 seconds. And this time I'm not gonna go through it all and waste your guys' time, so I'm gonna go through it really quickly. But once again, you wanna go up to player mood and you would do this for another 30 to a minute basically the longer you do you guarantee you're gonna get the outfit anyway so if you want to do it for two minutes then a hundred percent of the time you will get it after you go and scroll through this for your 30 second 45 second all you want to do is go and get kicked because again we're gonna be putting our controller down so I think here's fine I'm just gonna make a cut we're not gonna use the real time 
So I'm just going to go and put my controller down right now. And this is, again, it will be fast forwarded and you're just going to wait for it to get kicked. After you get kicked, this can just go and put you across the street. You'll spawn in one of two locations, but you'll basically be across the street from an ammunition. So you just want to go and run up there. The first step that you guys need to do is take off the insect mask, just like last time. If you guys have it on, it's blacklisted, so once you save the outfit and switch sessions, you'll notice that outfit is not saved anymore and you'll lose it. So as long as you take the mask off, the joggers are completely fine and you'll have them forever. So I'm going to go gear, mask off. From here you could go and edit to your liking, put your invisible ankle shoes on, go and edit the outfit. Yeah, I don't know if I like orange, it's so hard to match that color with other things. And subscribe if you guys haven't already, it helps me out so much. Alright, so for the third and last one, it's going to be literally any of these. So we got white, blue, and there's so many different colors here. The reason I'm putting this, number one, it gives me a great chance to have white joggers in the thumbnail. And number two is, it's not that hard. It's time consuming, which is his biggest downflaw, but it's pretty easy to do if you follow the steps. For more help, you can go click the tag top right. But so for the this. last one, I'll be getting any of these ones on screen right now. So we got white, blue, yellow, green, camo, and all those. With the direct mode being patched, it's pretty much impossible to get white and it's probably patched for good now to be completely honest everyone's been trying to find a workaround for months and so far nothing so we got to go and do it with the cargo joggers so you want to go do is swap character we will be doing the transfer glitch so just to let you guys know you do lose all your outfits but one and you also need to have your male character in slot number one for this to work and that's pretty much it you got to delete your female character later so you want to do is go and start editing character number two if you already have one there just go and delete it and then restart it. So I'm going to go and start editing this guy right now. So we got onto here. We made sure it's a female. It doesn't matter how they look because you will be deleting them on later anyway. So go save and continue. From here you'll get this message. Do you want to skip the tutorial? 100% you want to click yes. And then we want to go and make this exact outfit on screen right now. Just in case some of you guys are skipping through, I need to stress this point. You do lose all your outfits with this. Just so I just need to make sure everyone knows that. So you want to go down to sports pants. You want to copy exactly what I do. Buy the first one, spotted muscle pants. If you guys don't know how to do the transfer glitch, I'll be running through it pretty quickly in this. But I'll try to make it as simple as possible. After we go and do this, we got to head over to shoes. And we want to go over to boots. Now we're going to go and head down to find these red ones right here. These are going to allow us to get some red modded shoes, which I think are pretty cool. They're not like 100% necessary, but I think they're pretty cool to have at the end of the day. And it does give you invisible ankles with them as well. For this, I'll be showing how to get the white ones, but it works with all of them. So you want to go and get these crimson cowboy boots right here. After this, we're going to go and head over and we got to just make a few more changes. So head over to t-shirts. For this one, we're going to go and head down to work jackets, and we're going to go and buy this one on screen right now. I think I just passed it. Where's work jackets at? Alright, right there. So we want to go and buy the peach camo jacket, which is number 9 out of 17. After this, we're going to go and head down to gun running t-shirts, and we're going to go and buy 60 out of 60. They got to they switch this. It's so hard to find anything. Where's gun running at? Did I pass it again? Alright, I just passed it. And we're gonna go and buy the last one, which is this blue digital 60 out of 60. For this part, you wanna go and buy the merging gloves, so head over to the front desk. Head down to gloves, and we're gonna go and buy number 14. I always get this number wrong, so it's either 14 or 12. We're gonna go and see right now. It is number 12. I get it wrong every single time. Last thing you wanna do is take off the earrings. If you have any accessories like glasses, earrings, make sure you take that off, it will mess it up. Then you want to go and save it in slot number two, not slot number one. Leave it empty, but make sure you save it in slot number two. After you do this, you want to go and take the easy way out. A lot of people are going to try to skip that step because they think it's not necessary, but 100% you need to force the game to save, and that is the best way of doing it. It'll spawn you outside, so from here, all you want to do is go and start creator. So from here, we're pretty much doing the basic uh, transfer from now on. So go start creator. We got to go and create a land race. The only settings that matter is putting maximum players down to 3 or 2, it doesn't matter between those two numbers, and then go put the route type on to point to point. Then go head over to the airport and go create your race. It's very simple, it's kind of time consuming, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to do. I have it very fast forwarded, but it's not that bad. Then you want to go and just test it out. You can switch the cars to supercar if you want to make it a bit quicker, but it don't matter at all. Then from there, after you complete the race, you want to go to choose character. From here, it's going to go and take you back onto this screen. 
I say from here way too much. <laughs> My bad boys. And girls, I mean, there's probably like 2% girls watching this. After this, we're gonna go and delete the female. Make sure you're deleting the right one. If you go and delete the guy, that would be terrible because you're deleting your main character. After you delete, you gotta just type in delete on your keyboard or mouse, whatever you got. Well, that don't even make sense. I said type on your mouse. I meant to say joystick. Once you get back on this screen, click circle as soon as you can or B on Xbox. So B, bang, it's gonna load us back into story mode. Don't worry, it may look like my story mode reset here because I was on a new account, but you'll just load into wherever you were last. Go and start an invite only session. This is gonna go and put us into GTA Online. Once you're on the line, it's not hard from here on out. So you'll be wearing the one outfit that you want to save from the original. It doesn't need to have the cargo pants, it'll just be whatever you're wearing. So go and see that in slot number 20 out of 20. Make sure you do not interfere with slot number one. <laughs> Make sure you leave it as far down as you can. 20 out of 20 works perfectly. After this, you wanna go and just put on whatever cargo joggers you want. So I'll, of course, I'll be going with the white because I'm pretty sure that's what everyone wants the most. But here, there's a few options. Look through them, gray, blue, pick whatever you want and just make sure you have them on after you have them on we're gonna go and head over to shoes and we gotta put on a set of rubberized boots so head down to the bottom head down to rubberized and it's 13 out of 14 you can put on any one this will allow you to get the invisible ankles if you don't want the invisible ankles you don't need to do this but they're not joggers without them so go and put those on after you do this, you want to go ahead to jobs, and for the final time of the video, we're going to go and start the versus mission, Crooked Cop. We started with it, we're going to end with it. So you want to go, this time, you don't want to make sure it's on themed, but you want to leave it on player owned. So it starts on classic, go one, and switch it to player owned. If it isn't on player owned, you'll have classic outfits, and it won't work. This time, I'm going to be doing the randoms, I'm going to invite random people. Again, they don't got to do anything. This one's even easier than the Crooked Cop one because we don't got to wait for it to be kicked. We can just go and put on an earpiece. So wait for a random to join. Spam X so they can't leave. Once you get into this screen, head down to Own Outfit. Go one to the right. And then you'll go and put on your jogger outfit and go and click Ready Up. Once you get in the actual session, you're going to notice you got the white joggers. You got the invisible ankles. I know technically they're cargo joggers, whatever. They're so damn similar. I like you could barely tell the difference. They're a bit tighter. Once you're in, run around two seconds. Go and throw in an earpiece. If you don't have an earpiece, I forgot to say it, but go and purchase one of those before. So just flip one to the left, earpiece on, and leave. If it won't give you the option to put the earpiece, you probably don't have one. So just go and head over to the ammo nation and go buy one. After this, you'll spawn the same spot as you did in the first two glitches. So just go ahead down the street, head into the store, and you can go and edit to your liking. If you don't like the shoes, you can go edit them, but I think they're pretty sick. They're modded, you can't get them anywhere else besides doing this. So it's up to you if you want to keep them or not. But I'm going to go rock with it. You can go switch the shirt, it doesn't need to be a plain black tee. You can go and make the sickest modded outfits. Last thing you might want to try is like making a mask with it. I think that'll look cool. But as you guys can see, you can switch the black thing. And for the final time, I will say it. Please subscribe. You watched the whole damn video. I kept your attention for this damn long. I, you probably skipped through. If you didn't, you're an absolute legend. Make sure you do comment that. If you guys are still watching, I really, really do appreciate you. More importantly, I hope you guys do have a great day, though. Hopefully, you can get the joggers. Train me back with a subscription if you do. That's it. See ya.